For several centuries, Chainmail has been one of the most used types of armor in the battlefield. It consists of small metal rings linked together in a pattern to form a mesh. In this video, you're gonna learn how to school Chainmail so you can go to a crusade for the lady. There must be war! God wills it! Hi, I'm Orsessis Converter and I'll be your guide in this tutorial. Let's do some heresy, shall we? We will begin this tutorial by getting a glass of water. It will provide us with the lubrication we so desperately need. We also be needing some wax carving tools, preferably the ones with big flattened ends. These are good for smoothing surfaces. Also think of getting yourself a set of burnishers like this. The rounded tips will help us opening cavities in the green stuff. Moving on, these are soft rubber brushes. I bet you can already tell which ones I use the most. It is not easy to clean the green stuff out of them, so they need to be renewed more frequently. And as expected, some green stuff also known as Neodatit. I do prefer buying it in this format, mainly because if their components are meant to harden when mixes together, they shouldn't be touching each other. We will start by mixing a 50-50 mix and let it dry out for 15 minutes. You should never be mixing a big amount of green stuff. Most of the time you won't be needing anything bigger than a big chickpea. Green stuff isn't the cheapest beauty, and it tends to go out of stock from time to time, so there's no need for wasting material. Make sure you mix it well until you get an homogenic mix. I will proceed to explain this technique in a bigger scale before applying it to a miniature. I will take advantage of the high stickiness of fresh green stuff. I will use my flat tool to get a smooth surface free of finger pins. Dip it in abundant water so the green stuff won't stick to the tool. We will now wait for 15 minutes to become a little less dependent on the lubrication. We will get an easier green stuff to work with. I will use a thin layer of white mineral oil. For the one and only purpose, it is less shiny, though better for recording this technique. I would usually use oil where I need to stick a small piece of green stuff, such as eyes, teeth, or armor cream. After 15 minutes, I will start by puncturing a hole on one of the corners of the sample with a burnisher. Then I'm going to press and drag the next hole in the row to the previous one. The next row is gonna be the same, but I will switch directions. If this was a hanging piece, this is how you would be ending the edges. This is the end result we are aiming for. As you can see, we have ended the edges in order to make it look like a hanging piece. But on a side note, there's an alternate way of ending chainmail. As you can see, the rows are still horizontal whereas on the hanging one they became vertical. In this one the edges are hidden by their trim, as seen in old dwarf and high elf models. So now we are going to proceed with the second phase of this tutorial. We are going to going to apply this technique to a miniature. Today's victim is gonna be these Cruel Boys Worms. 
Let's just start by placing the green stuff on the miniature. Right there. There we go. The, this fucker. The, there we go. Since there's all the stuff in the middle of the chest area, we're gonna work in patches. Take a rubber brush to spread DGS. After that, we are going to create the main volume of the sleeve by making a triangle shape and sticking it under his armpit. Now we will treat the green stuff until we turn a shape we are comfortable with. We need to remove all our fingerprints and open a cavity under his arm. We are now ready to test our newly landed skills. But be very careful with where you place your fingers. It is very easy to get distracted and erase everything by accident. We're gonna leave the sleeve alone for now and I'll show you why. If I try to do the chain mount technique onto a fresh volume, it will not maintain shape and it will need to be fixed. So we will continue and save that one for later. Once we have both the sleeves shaped and we have finished texture in the chest area, we will let it dry for 24 hours. 24 hours have passed and now the green stuff is rock hard. But before moving on, we need to remove all the excessive green stuff so we can make room for sculpting a texture. This also applies to fresh green stuff. If you are pressing GS and the volume moves to another side instead of collapsing into itself, it means you are using too much of it or it doesn't have enough space underneath. So, we are gonna trim it a bit with a bobby knife. That will be enough. Next, we are going to apply a thin coat of green stuff over the short sleeve. Cut it where you believe it is long enough. And then, we are going to spread it with some rubber brushes. Be careful now when applying too much water as a loop. It might run through your tool into the surface underneath, making it impossible for the green stuff to stick to it. This is what mineral oil was meant for. Finally, take your burnisher and get to time with those chain links. So thanks everybody for following through this tutorial. If you enjoyed my content, please consider leaving a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. If I reach a thousand subscribers, I will be able to change this behemoth of a link. Also, do check my Patreon where I give private tuition, or if you wish to show some general support to the channel. Until next time, Obsessive Converter disengages.